What's up y'all? This is Daniel with Pride of the Southland Kennels. Quick video today. Uh, I'm going to try this again. Black dog here is Rome uh, of Confederate Kennels. He is available. I'm needing the space. Uh, the dog beside him, that's Emery. Uh, these two did just have a litter a little sooner than I expected, but come here, Ron. Ron is available, guys. Um, I'm not going to say the price on the video or in the comment section. Email me at pride of the Southland Kennels at outlook.com if you're seriously interested. I'm looking for a good, responsible home for him. Just wanting to downsize a little bit. He's a uh, He's a little bit bigger dog than I want. Um, but I promise you, anybody that's seriously interested, you're not going to get a better deal than, than what I'm going to uh, give you with this dog here. And like I said, I'm not going to say it. On the video or in the comments, email me at pride of the Southland Kennels at outlook.com. Um, it'll be a good deal. He's, he's, a, he's about 18 months old. Like I said, he got to my female a little uh, sooner than expected. That's her right there. Yes, before anybody says it, yes, she's thin. She just had a litter of pups, and I'm not pumping the feed to her just yet. I'm trying to get her to draw up, uh, but you can see the size difference. She's not filled out like she normally is because the pups just came off of her a couple weeks ago, but um, you can see the size difference in the dogs. I'm going more of the smaller route. I'm, when she was nursing her litter, she was 51 pounds a little thin. I think she's gonna, I think she weighs in about 56, 58 pounds. I'm estimating him to be 80, 85. Um, he's a big, solid dog. I also have a lot of people, let me walk in the fence here, go over this other breeding update real quick. All right, I'm inside the fence now. You got Neyland over here with me. This is Teleco and Iris. Uh, Iris has not came in the heat yet. I've had a few people asking me for updates on that. As soon as she comes in the heat, these are the two uh, that are going to be having a litter, hopefully. As you can see, the goats are over there a little bit of ways away from them. They're, doing, they're still doing good with the goats. Um, these are the kind of dogs that I want. And putting these two dogs together, I think, is going to give me a little bit more consistency and temperament and possibly size. Iris is about 62 pounds. Teleco, which is the male, which is on the right-hand side now, I think he's about 67 pounds last time I weighed him. Pretty close in size. This is our sire, Neyland, 69 pounds. As, as I was saying earlier, um... Ron, he's just a little bigger than I want. Acts good. Ron does act pretty good. Um, he's not the perfect dog and perfect farm dog by any means, but out of all the dogs that I've purchased over the last three or four years, he has been uh, the best compared to the dogs, uh, the other dogs that I've purchased. Um, he's the closest thing to what I produce. He's a good dog. He's gonna make somebody a good family home or he's gonna make somebody a good family pet. Now, he might do a little bit of work for you. Depends on what kind of work you want, but y'all just email me at pride of the Southland Kennels at outlook.com. Uh, I'm not just gonna let him go to anybody, but I am looking for uh, looking to rehome him. Uh, so y'all just y'all just email me if y'all are interested. We ain't got a whole lot going on with dogs right now. I'll walk back over here. Um, I got a lot of other stuff I'm wanting to get done. I'm finishing up my chicken coop. About to get some more chickens this weekend from my parents. As soon as that's done, uh, my buddy has got some hogs on the way. So within the next couple months, we're gonna be getting some hogs again. I think I'm gonna chill out from right there for a minute. And then we'll be looking for us a billy goat by the end of the summer maybe in the next maybe by like july so that's what we got going on here um there's a good look at ron i'm telling y'all he is a very well put together dog i mean he he don't get too excited about stuff but when he does he he gets excited quick he can go from being calm right here and wake up really quick 
Um, he's not really an aggressive type dog. A lot of people are going to think that because he's from Confederate Kennels. But it, I'm, I'm telling y'all, he's not. He's a good dog. He really is a good dog. Uh, but with me keeping the pup off the litter I just kept, that puts me at six dogs. I'm wanting to keep another pup out of Teleco and Iris. And I may do the Neyland Emery breeding. And with me wanting only a handful of dogs, um, that's the sad part, I guess, of, of breeding dogs. I can't keep every dog around forever, but I'm wanting to get away from that. Meaning when I keep a dog back from a litter, that dog just stays here. As long as they work out. My plan is for them to spend their days here. I'm not going to be having a whole lot of litters. I've never had a whole lot of litters, but one good successful litter a year would be good for me. Um, and hopefully the dogs doing that and doing their jobs can help pay for themselves and, and help uh, pay for a few other things around the farm. That's, that's my goal. Um, those two dogs right there have been health tested and they're both cleared of 210, 211 uh, genetic uh, disorders, they're good. Good acting dogs, uh, I'm excited about that breeding. I'm not excited about pups, that's not really one of my most favorite things to do, raise a litter of pups, but it's part of it if you wanna produce uh, the type of dog that you want. Any individual wants to produce a certain style of dog and can't go out and find it or purchase it well then that's what you got to do is breed so yeah we're gonna if i can keep five dogs i'll be happy with five dogs but um six is probably where i'm going to land six good acting dogs so there's emery the mother to this litter i haven't cleaned the pups kennel out they're being quiet right now so i'm not going to bother them and they're out here on the deck now and here's ron and uh, I, I really, I'm gonna hate to see him go, but uh, he's just, he's been a really good dog. I want him to go, he's a little dirty right now, but he, he needs to go to uh, somebody that can spend a lot of time with him. Roan is one of those dogs that really seeks the attention and affection from people. He's real good around my kids. Um, which my kids are not young kids they're teenagers but he really takes he really takes to them haven't seen him act um ill or aggressive towards anybody um he does good with the dogs in fact i've never had an issue with him with any of the dogs with him and any of these other dogs but now i've i've been a little careful what i'm i'm what i'm not saying is if you already have dogs in your home you can just bring him in and and, and he'll be okay i can't guarantee that i can just tell you from my experience he's been okay with dogs but he's got a backbone about him um so anyways that's what we got going on i don't know how much content i'm going to be putting out in the next couple of months because i'm i've got my mind and attention and focus on other things around the property um, outside of dogs uh, if you watch if you watch or pay attention to anything, there's a good possibility that uh, things are going to get tough for us with food shortages. Uh, inflation's already sky high. Dog food prices have went sky high. Fencing has went sky high. Kennels has, have went sky high. I mean, this fencing right here was $259 for 330 foot when I put this fence up. I think it's up to around four hundred dollars now. Kennels were two hundred and seventy-nine dollars when I first bought them. They're four hundred and fifty now. That's just a five by ten without the expansion panels to make it ten by ten, or the roof. So a good ten by ten like that over there is seven hundred fifty, eight hundred dollars. Which there are more expensive ones out there, but those are good solid kennels um, and. I got a little garden area tilled up here. I'm going to expand that, but that's where the hogs was at. That's about a 20 by 20 area. I went ahead and tilled that up. That was the easiest tilling 
that I've ever done because those hogs worked it up. They was probably on that spot for eight months and uh, they fertilized it, rooted it up, tilled it, worked it in. And uh, I'm trying to take advantage of that. I know there's other ways to grow a garden, but that's what we're doing and we're gonna expand that. So we got goats, uh, chickens coming within 10 days, hogs coming hopefully within the next few months. Trying to grow me some vegetables. Trying to train these dogs up to work. As you can see, they're playing. They've been out here for, I don't know, a couple hours now, but they like to, they still got pup in them. Both of them dogs are about two years old. Going on two years old. So anyways, that's the updates. That's just an all around update video. Nothing too exciting. But again, I'll go over here to Roan one more time for those of y'all that's watched the entire video. Dog on the left there. That's wrong. Zoom in on him. He is a he is a proven stud. He sired a litter of eight. A little bit younger than I wanted him to, but sometimes that stuff happens. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of luck with the pups due to the weather, the temperature. They had them in February. It's been cold here in Tennessee for Tennessee standards. In fact, it's still in the. It's warmed up right now, but when we woke up in the morning, it's still in the 30s going to be in the 30s again tonight but anyways there he is he's a, i'm telling you i'm not just saying this because i'm trying to find him a home i've been around dogs for a while um he's a very well put together dog got a good bite on him nice straight front rear end he ain't got a a lot he ain't light in the rear and heavy in the front he's just pretty solid dog all the way around don't have a huge head on him but He's proportionate. It's hard to tell because he's, you know, a black dog, but he's got a good solid head on him. He's just a good solid dog all the way around. The way he looks, the way he acts, the whole nine yards. So anyways, this is Daniel with Pride of the Southland Kennels. Until next time, thank y'all for watching.